Yeah, in case you're wondering, the Pink Pig is actually a functional barbecue. And that's, uh, we'd like to invite, uh, <laughs> welcome rather, Danielle Demosky, otherwise known as Diva Q. I am Diva Q, it's true. I like that name, it kind of works for me. It works, it works for us too. And barbecuing is uh, not just something that should be relegated to the summer months, correct? Oh my goodness, no. We live in Canada. We have a very short summer season, so we need to learn how to use our grills and our barbecues throughout the entire year. Um, you know, I have 13, 14 barbecues in my backyard, and all of them throughout the course of the, the entire year, including the winter, get used. This is fantastic. Now, I want to mention that you are not just a barbecue champion, you do the circuit, but you are the 2009 Canada Southern Barbecue Champion. I am. I'm Congratulations. so blessed. Thank you so much. I'm really blessed to, to be that champion. It was a really hard competition. I went up against you know, the, some of the best teams in Canada. Um, the best part about that competition, it actually got me something that's very prestigious. It got me an invite to the American Royal, which is Which is of, the event. Yeah, which is one right. of the events. So I'm looking forward to doing that this year in 2010. Well, it's a privilege to be uh, barbecuing yeah. alongside of you. What are we going to be preparing today? Well, we have some great little tidbits. You know, a lot of times you get together for little 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 get-togethers in the winter. We tend to cocoon a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I thought about, you know, some little fun little things we can do. One of the, one of the most popular things from my website, divaq.ca, is ABTs. And ABTs um, is actually stands for Atomic Buffalo Turds. Not the most polite name. Okay. Okay. Um, uh -huh. However, they are incredibly <laughs> yummy. And, and simply, what they are is a jalapeno that has been filled with cream cheese, and we're going to make them right now. Fantastic. Okay. So we have a block of cream cheese, standard block of cream cheese. Fantastic. Do not use uh, light. It tends to drizzle out a little bit more. So use okay. the full fat. So this is not a diet day. No. Um, I've got some old cheddar. Really simple. Um, I have some shallots. Okay. And I sprinkle in a little bit of barbecue rub. Now, you can do a ton, a ton of methods of, of doing this little... Um, uh, little ABT because certainly you can add anything to cream cheese and it pretty much tastes good. This so, is true. So basically all we're doing now is we're just mixing it up, getting it all nice and mixed and then we're gonna go and we're gonna clean out some, some jalapenos uh, to stuff with. So okay. that, there we go. Really easy. easy. So we've so got the jalapenos. So now if you're really sensitive, please make sure, wear gloves. Um, the oils can be very burning. So if you are very sensitive, I've, I've grown a, a, a bit of an immunity to them over mm -hmm. the years. So yeah. I use jalapenos that have been cut in half Simply, I have a little tomato peeler. I'm just taking out the seeds. That's oh, that's a fantastic see tool. See how easy that was? That's a great idea. I mean, really, not hard at all. I then go and rinse them out. Okay. Um, at my house, I rinse them out because I want as many seeds. I have three small children, and they, they're not the, the greatest fans mm -hmm. of really hot stuff, so I, I do that. And then all it is is simply you just take an offset spatula or even into a piping bag if you're doing a lot of them. Okay. And you're just filling them up. Fantastic. Oh, that's easy. I mean, really, how easy is that? And then all you do, and okay, and this is one of my favorite parts. Ah, uh, the bacon. It's, it's bacon, okay. <laughs> um, truly, there has been uh, just a plethora of, of, of recipes this year with bacon. And all I do is I'm going to wrap this up in bacon. And notice this is really thin bacon. Mm -hmm. um, this is not where you want to buy the best quality bacon because um, truly it doesn't wrap as nicely. Okay. Um, I like the, the higher fatty, less, less expensive bacon to do ABTs. And that's it. Now, from that point, what we're going to do is we're just going to take that. We're going to sprinkle on a little bit of barbecue rub. Okay. And then we would put it into... Our barbecues. Now, I brought a couple of barbecues with me today. In the winter, I mm -hmm. use my pellet grills a lot. Okay. Um, they're a wood pellet grill, um, and they're electric-based, and that's why I'm from Traeger Canada. And so I have a couple of these. I have three of these in my backyard. This is the Junior. Okay. <laughs> this is the Junior. I know. Right. Not everybody has, has no, multiples. No. I love this one because it actually can use right on the back of the truck. It can go on a plastic tablecloth. It won't burn. Uh, it's a great design. Uh, the insulation's on the bottom. However, what I also have in my backyard is ah, yes. kettles. Now, you'll notice mm -hmm. this is a small kettle. Mm -hmm. um, this, is, this is one that I, that I brought from home. We don't use it all that often because I tend to use the, my other kettles. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we typically will take this camping with us. We take okay. this one camping with us. And it's so funny because I'm that person that goes to, to the campsites with <laughs> Eight more, barbecues more, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, tend, I, tend, I tend to talk a lot about barbecue when I go camping. So <laughs> these are all available at Ontario Gas Barbecues. That's bbqs.com. Okay. You can go there. Uh, Duff Dixon's the owner. He, he's great for information about barbecues. And these are nice if you have smaller spaces, you're in a condo, you've mm -hmm. got limited space in a balcony, right? you got to check with the condo regulations. One of the things about condo regulations is smoke. Okay. Um, so a lot of times what they'll only allow is Traegers or oh, an electric right. barbecue. So I would recommend you definitely go to your condo association, check out what Good they're going to allow you to use. So I was going to put these on uh, a whole tray of, of the ABTs. Okay. On the barbecues. Now I do them nice and slow. Okay. The longer you put them on the grill, mm -hmm. the less heat that's going to be. 
Okay. So that's All really right. important. So okay. the longer they're on there, the sweeter the actual jalapeno becomes. Yeah, I know. And they're still going to have nice. I'm and very they're excited. so yummy and delicious at the end of it. And so we've got some that we've already made. Oh, and as fantastic. you can see, we took them off the grill and they've got some barbecue sauce on them. Look at that. And, and really simple. I love it. I love and it. A great appetizer. I'll tell you right now, once you make them, you're going to keep making them. Now, I'm going to ask, do you get a chance? I know on, uh, when you're competing mm -hmm. in these competitions, and it's usually traditional from what I understand, and I don't know a lot, but it's, it's a lot of ribs and chicken. Do you get to have fun at these competitions well, and try out some of these unusual things? Well, the thing is, is that for the competitions, typical competitions have four main categories. They mm -hmm. have brisket. Ribs, pulled pork, and chicken. Okay. So throughout the entire year, those are the four main categories that I focus my entire year on. Wow. However, there are other fun categories called anything but. Okay. So anything but those four categories, and this is where you get into this kind of little item, freestyle. Where you, yeah, yeah, you get to experiment, you get to play. But also, additionally, competitions for barbecue are family fun event. Uh, they're family friendly. There are lots of teams out there that bring their children to these events. There's really a culture to it. Like oh, people, absolutely. this is a lifestyle. If you if you work this circuit, yep. this is, I mean, this is a full-time full endeavor for, for yeah. you. Yeah, I, I travel throughout North America. Uh, last year we traveled to, to Alberta, Saskatchewan, New York, Michigan, <sighs> Virginia, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee. Wow. Many, many states, but because it's life. And the pink pig goes with you? She, oh, she's my baby. How does this work? How do you, I how do you travel with her? I hope everything um, when I'm not flying because I do sometimes fly into competitions I actually haul it all in a big cargo trailer and I've got it like a, a mobile kitchen if you might say it's okay that I do all my prep with so we we travel we have a great time traveling okay we have to connect with you on the road <laughs> that would be fun. okay fun. So we've got the ABTs, got the ABTs under up. our belt and what's not oh you know what once again anything on